Hi, my name is Diane Frost and I'm the superintendent for Corsicana ISD. I really appreciate you being here with me today. I'm gonna to share this book with you. It's very special to me because the person who wrote it was a student of mine at the middle school. And the little boy it's about named Jay, that's who was my student at the middle school. He's a very special little boy and he is in a wheelchair. And so this is a story about his very first day in kindergarten. The North Texas sun was shining brightly as we rode along in our Jeep. I was riding in the back seat and having a great time, but mom seemed a little nervous. Today wasn't just any old day. Today was my very first day of school. Were you nervous on your first day of school? A little bit nervous? I, was a little I didn't know why mom was nervous. I was excited. After all, I was six years old and eager to meet other kids my age. My kindergarten class was the neatest room I'd ever seen. It was decorated in warm, bright colors and had pictures of letters on the wall. The floor was covered with a colorful rug that had numbers and letters all over it. I was sitting where mom had placed me when suddenly in came a bunch of other children. Most of them looked as excited as I was, but a few of them looked kind of scared. A loud bell rang. I looked around and saw that my mother was gone. I began to feel a little scared, but then a nice looking lady appeared at the front of the room. She said her name was Mrs. May and that she would be our teacher. Her hair was bright red, and she had a very kind smile. Ms. May asked all the students to give their name and say a little something about themselves. Several kids said their names very loudly, while others said them very quietly. As my turn got closer and closer, I wondered how I would say my name and what I would say about myself. I licked my lips and, trying to sound normal, said, Hi, I'm Jay. I have a dog named Charlie. Whew. I was glad that that was over. When it was finally time to get up off the rug, Mrs. May put me back into my wheelchair. I noticed that some of the kids were staring at me and whispering. I felt as if I wanted to cry. Gosh, what's wrong with me? Then a bell sounded. It was time for lunch. In the hallway after lunch, people were swarming around me and asking me why I was in a wheelchair. I told them I couldn't walk and that the chair helped me to get around. They all wanted to know why I couldn't walk. Because I have cerebral palsy, I told them. What's that? They asked. I thought and thought and couldn't come up with the right answer. Then, suddenly, I remembered my doctor telling me that cerebral palsy made my brain and my legs get their signals mixed up. And that's why I couldn't walk. I tell them how, without ever even realizing it, the brain sends thousands of signals through the body, telling all the different parts what to do. Having cerebral palsy means that your brain isn't sending the right messages to your muscles, which keeps them from working properly. Just then, Mrs. May called us back to our classroom and said it was time to rest. Rest time was weird for me. So was sleeping on the floor, but mom had brought me a brand new green and blue mat just for naps. As I looked around, I saw my class unfolding their mats and placing them on the floor. Someone had even put mine down for me. Everyone rest now, said Ms. May, as she flipped off the lights. The room was dim. The only light shining was from behind the curtains and under the door. My mat smelled like plastic and wasn't nearly as comfortable as my bed at home. And Chance wasn't there to sleep with me. This was weird. I felt like talking, but there was no one to talk to. They were all asleep. Finally, after what seemed like forever, it was recess time. My classmates stopped asking me about my wheelchair and started asking me if I played any sports. I told them, 
I love football. How does someone in a wheelchair play football? Simple. All you need is someone to push you while the rest of the kids play their positions. The scariest part is trying not to wipe out. If you do, it is one big crash. After football, it was time to wash up and get ready to go home. My first day of school was over. It was everything I'd hoped it would be. Wow, was I ever happy to see my mom. If you have classmates who are in a wheelchair or have some other physical challenge, please just be a friend and help them find their way to do the same things that you do. You'll make a great new friend and who knows, you may even be friends for life. Did you like this book? Yes. Great, I'm so glad. It's a special book for me too.